before joining Celtic, you spent the first half of your career in your homeland in Japan. How popular is the Champions League there? And did you imagine one day that you'd be playing in the Champions League in Europe? Well, I have been watching uh, Champions League uh, always, and uh, I, w I wanted to be uh, be there one day. So uh, I came to uh, uh, came to Celtic, which is uh, the, the 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 good good club, and uh, for the first season, uh, from uh, I, we could uh, we could win the win the league title, and uh, got uh, uh, got the right uh, to play uh, play uh, the Champions League, and I'm very happy. And uh, we what we are now in the in the nice group. So uh, we just uh, express. Uh, on the pitch, what we have been working on and believe in in ourselves. So uh, I would like to make uh, all supporters fun uh, and and fun uh, or to cheer, uh, or happy and smile. So uh, or, uh, throughout our, our football. And Kyogo, Real Madrid, the was the part one team that we got playing at the uh, Bernabeu Stadium, the champions of Europe. How ready are you and the team to play against, on paper, the best team in Europe? Uh, I'm just uh, looking forward to, to play, uh, play against them as soon as possible. So uh, finally, uh, for me, um, it's a good opportunity to see uh, how much we can express our football and how much we can believe in ourselves. So. Uh, uh, individually, uh, I would like to I would like to see uh, how uh, how many goals I can, uh, I, can I can score. So uh, in total, I'm I'm very. Well, excited. How confident are you in the players that you'll be able to get through this group, whether it's through the Champions League last sixteen or in the Europa League? Uh, we are a great team. We have uh, great staffs, uh, great fans, uh, great, uh, great teammates. So uh, I have a, I have a confidence. And, uh, and the team, uh, my teammates, uh, give me always uh, good passes. But uh, I sometimes uh, don't uh, don't finalize uh, perfectly. So uh, I have uh, still opportunity to to grow up uh, to help uh, uh, our teammates and and team uh, with my with my goals. So, but and I have to uh, improve improve more. So uh, yeah. I, uh, we we will work hard to become uh, become better team before before the competition. Well, uh, what to say? Uh, well, it can help, but it cannot help. So uh, we just uh, keep doing what we have been been, been working on. Uh, my teammates give give me uh, good passes, and uh, and uh, now. I score uh, one goal per per game, but uh, I have to score two or three goals uh, each game. So uh, yeah, you can expect uh, my uh, uh, new version of me. So well, let's let's see. Hello, Kyogo. Um, Celtic faced Ferenc Varos, Real Betis, and Bayer Leverkusen in the Europa League last year. How much do you think it benefited the group playing quality opposition uh, last season in Europe? The uh, experience we had the last season uh, well, was amazing for, for me and for team. So uh, uh, definitely that uh, that experience uh, helped us uh, for, for for this competition. And uh, well, uh, we have uh, we have uh, great teams uh, against, but uh, we just have uh, have confidence and we we we, we can play uh, well uh, with uh, without any problem. How do you think the medal will be among the players after that draw? Sorry? How do you feel the medal will be among the squad after the draw? The mood? Yeah. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Strong accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the players will be, um, you know, very happy, very delighted. Um, you know, obviously there's a, a great football club also in this group as well, um, you know, that everybody has been hoping for and, uh, you know, it would be fantastic, uh, a fantastic way to compete against them and see what our level is. Hi Moritz, you've scored a couple of goals already in your Celtic career. How many do you fancy taking on Real Madrid? <laughs> um, first, I have to stop my goal drought. Um, <laughs> um, no, like uh, you know, I try to be dangerous as po as I possibly can be in the, in the set pieces because we've been working a lot on set pieces. Um, and then, yeah, I try to contribute as much as I can. Hopefully, yeah, with something in that game.
<laughs> we see. Hi Moritz. Um, just now at Celtic, there's probably four centre backs that could play up on any given day. Mm. How important is it to have that strong competition in there when you're going to be heading into to big games against big clubs? Um, I think it's very important, you know, because we're a big football club and we play in the, the biggest competition in the world. Um, it's very important to have a big squad, you know, um, on defensive position, on offensive position as well. Like we have our new players as well coming in just now. So it's very impo uh, important to have a big team and the fresh players in the last 30 minutes to maintain the highest level as possible to, to maybe score another goal or maybe retain the match. Hi Moritz, uh, you joined Celtic a month ago and you've settled in really well. Uh, now you're looking towards these Champions League matches. Do you feel that the group are ready to play in these uh, this level of competition? Yes, I think the group is ready to play in this uh, level of competition. Um, you know, we've been working hard. You know, there's a, a very good mentality at the, the club, a very professional mentality. Um, as you see, we, we strive to, um, you know, have no limit on our game and uh, to to be the best every week. So we really look forward to playing the Champions League and to compete against the best. Hi Moritz, it was one of the reasons you joined a club like Celtic to play Champions League football and how much do you think it's going to be important for your development to test yourself against the high quality opposition? Um, yes, that was also a big reason why I came to Celtic. Um, obviously to play for a big team a very big team uh, in the Champions League. Um, it's obviously fantastic and uh, the second thing is, yes, it's very important for my development as a young player um, to match myself against the best players, to see where I am and to, you know, to continue growing as a player as well. Hi Maurice. Hello. Um, I'm guessing this is the reason that you came to Celtic, was to play in iconic games and iconic arenas like Celtic Park against the likes of Real Madrid, you're going to come up against Karim Benzema, who's probably, in my opinion, the, the best striker in the world. Um, what do you think our chances are overall in the group? Do you think that we can get out of the group? Um, yeah. um, I think like every group, there's a, there's a possibility to get out of the group. Um, like I said, it will be very difficult. Um, all teams are very good teams um, because they're in the Champions League. They have been probably having good seasons in their country as well. So, uh, like I said, we will try to do our best and the objective is obviously to get out of the group. Moritz, how does this feel for you personally? Is, is this the dream coming up against Real Madrid and a year or two ago, could you have imagined this is where you'd be right now? Well, um, not really, if I'm honest. Um, it's definitely one of my, my dreams, you know. Um, like, who, who doesn't dream to play against Real Madrid? And, uh, to compete in the Champions League, so yeah, definitely it's yeah one of the biggest moments in my career. Hi Moritz, uh, when Celtic play domestically they sometimes have 70 or 80% possession. What challenges do you think we'll face when we're up against the likes of Real Madrid when we have much less possession? Um, yeah, like you've said as well, um, it will be more difficult because like you know in Scotland we have so much possession, so much, so many chances, and uh, in Europe, everybody will try to play. Everybody will try to dominate the game. Um, so we will have to, we will have to be difficult for them. We will have to be ready to, to sometimes let them have the ball. Um, we have to defend very strong, but we also have to be very brave to play and continue the way we play because they will come at us and they try to stop us playing the way we play. So we just have to do our game. Hi Moritz, obviously Real Madrid are the big talking point, but I want to ask you about another team, uh, RB Leipzig, a team that I dare say you'll know a bit about, quite a controversial team in your country as well. Do you know much about them? Uh, yes, I know much about them. Um, obviously, they're quite a new team in uh, Germany. Um, they've been doing very well in the league for many years, and also in Europe, they've been doing a, a quite good showing. Um, yeah, it would be a very interesting game against them. They're an attacking playing team, they play high intensity football, so it would be a very entertaining match. So there we have it, folks. The draw for the Champions League has been announced. Celtic draw Real Madrid, Red Bull Leipzig and Shakhtar Donetsk. Away days at the Bernabeu will be immense. And also 60,000 fans in here on these midweek Champions League nights against the best teams in the world. That's what it's all about. 
Hope you enjoyed today's content. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to subscribe and comment also because there is a chance to win a signed Ange Postacoglu print from Seltzer here. But that's all from us today. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe as always.